your life will only matter to you in the end. I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to me at the same time. That's the beauty of creating content as well. It's like I'm talking to thousands of people, sometimes tens of people, hundreds of people, but I'm always all talking to myself because the videos that I make, even when I watch it back, it inspires me too to keep going and doing what I'm doing. But in this video, I want to talk about your life will only matter to you in the end. Like, that is why it's so important to decide on what you want to do with it. It seems like a long time, but trust me, it's really short. And I've taken a lot of risk in my life. I've done a lot of things that are absurd to a lot of people, man. And I have a mindset where, like right now, I don't, I don't work for anybody. I don't have a job. I have my own business, but the things that interest me the most is YouTube. It's creating content, is it's talking, is you know sharing my story and sharing what I understand, the knowledge of my understanding to you guys. That's the most thing that excites me, man. And when I think about it, like the way I live my life, my my days are pretty simple. I wake up, go to the gym, exercise. I love exercising. Every morning I exercise and I play basketball. And after that, I come home and I learn. I watch videos on YouTube about different things like manifestation, just life content creation, YouTube things like that, and then I make my own content. So that's how my day pretty much goes. But the idea of the time that we're in right now is so beautiful because it's like we're in a time where there's so much opportunity, but people don't see it, right? In 2024, there are people like Kai Sinat, there are people like Speed, I Show Speed, if you don't know those people, those people, they're just streamers, they're YouTubers, and they do this thing full-time. They create content full-time for a living. And the idea of that is so amazing to me because I grew up as a child. I grew up as a child looking up to rappers mostly. At that time, I'm 24 years old, so at that time it was like Young Thug, Lil Wayne, Drake, and just watching their music videos and the way they lived. The way they live their life so freely, like doing what they wanted, you know, not being so serious about life, like being so, you know, being so, they, they show happiness. Meanwhile, the people who are more corporate and more serious about life, they were always so serious and so sad and so angry. And, you know, those people give me the vision of like, yeah, you can, you can live life in a playful way and still be. I still have money, still have nice things, still have freedom, you know? And as I grew older, more and more people start to show you that, right? Like the YouTubers, the content creation, like content creation blew up. And now it's such a big thing. Even in 2024, it's still getting bigger. There's streaming, there's YouTube, there's even on Facebook, they pay people now, like for skits and different things. TikTok pays people. And when you look at all those opportunities that are in front of us, it's like, I want that. <laughs> and for the longest, I've been afraid to say I want that. Because of the conditioning of the environment that I grew up in as an, as an African boy who is supposed to be successful in a corporate job and I'm supposed to be an engineer or a doctor or a lawyer. Because that's what that's what we do. Because that's where the money is. You have to be a you have to be a doctor, or engineer or a lawyer, and you have to study in in a nice university and i did that i i went to university i studied computer science when i graduated high school i didn't even know what i wanted to study because for real like i said i was looking up to rappers and and funny enough i, I was making music for 10 years since i was like 10 years old i was making music but my parents never supported me in that they never supported me in something i wanted to do but meanwhile, I also experienced also experienced the life of making music and pursuing that for years. I pursued music for a long time. Then I started to discover that 
even in my music, I wasn't portraying who I was, so it wasn't authentic. So I couldn't manifest the life I wanted through my music because it wasn't who I was. I was trying to be something I was not. But then I started see, growing up and seeing even more people like like different creators that even just talk about life and like X X X Tentacion especially inspired me, not just because of his music, but just because of the way he could just pick up the camera and talk to people directly and tell them like you can be somebody, you can you can envision the life and the books he recommended me to read, and I actually re read them and I learned so much about manifest manifestation and all these things, and I realized that I was manifesting the whole time. So since then, I've been living a life where it's like I don't, I don't want to live a normal life because I know how it like a life where there's no there's no plot twists. <laughs> A life where there's no, everything is, or, or like, I know the outcome. Go, wake up, go to work, come back. Wake up, go to work, come back. I've seen people around me be miserable doing that. I've seen it. I've seen people, I've seen people be miserable doing that for years. I've seen people, so why would I put myself there? When I know I want to do something different, like, talk to you guys when I know I want to create content that inspires people when I know I just want to do fun stuff and record it when I know I want to make money just being myself and and platforms like YouTube and technology has made that possible so why would I not do that why would I not try because at the end of the day in the end my life will only matter to me. So the choices I make, the decisions I make about my life, it's, it's only going to matter to me. Like on my deathbed, I'm going to be like, at least I did what I wanted to do. There was a time, like, because I used to live in Canada for seven years. Now I live in Houston, Texas, right? There was a time where I decided to go to LA, like Los Angeles, right? I just woke up one day, I was in a toxic relationship, and I was tired of it, and I just wanted some space, some time to think about who I am and what I want to do in my life, and I just woke up and I went to LA. I booked a flight to LA for like $700, I booked an Airbnb in some surf, in some surf, um, like it's like a place where people, there's bunk beds, and like, you know, it's not like a hotel, it's not like, it's like an Airbnb place. With like bunk beds and other people, like roommates, like a hostel. Yeah, that's what they call it, a hostel in LA by Hermosa Beach. And I stayed there for like two weeks by myself. Spent time going to the beach and just living. I, bro, like I had the best time of my life. I met people from Germany, like people from all over the world, and they were just living too. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't have this pressure that I had about life where I felt like I needed to be succeeding at. I was I was like 22 years old back then. And I had all this pressure on my life that, oh, I needed a corporate job. I'm not doing well in life. I'm not succeeding. I'm not good enough. I had all this pressure in my head about what I needed to be doing for me to feel like I was living a good life. And all that shit just weighed on me. It weighed, it weighed so heavy on my soul. But then I worked through that. When I went to LA, I, I started working on myself, started reading, started learning, and I started manifesting. And I started seeing that even without a job, even without all those things, I could still be happy. Then I started to consciously think about what I want for myself, Mike. And fast forward to today, I started taking my YouTube more seriously, and my YouTube keeps growing. Like, in the past two weeks, I have over 200 subscribers, and that's the most exciting thing that's happening to me right now. Right now, because in the end of the day, if I, if I, if I make it on YouTube and I'm streaming and I live a life that is, like, I did it for me. No one's going to understand that. No one's going to do that for me. No one's going to motivate me to do this stuff right now. No one's going to do that for me. So I want to say that to you, like in the end, it's only going to matter to you 
how you live your life. So if you're on your deathbed, think about it. Are you going to regret the life that you're living right now? Are you going to regret it? Are you going to be there and be like, oh, I wish I, I wish I started that channel. I wish I started that business. I wish I started um, makeup. I wish I started music. I wish I tried that thing. I've done so many things. I've started businesses. I've done music. I've performed in concerts. I've lived a good life that was not the life that people thought I should be living. I, I, I made choices on my own. And I'm, I'm still alive. <laughs> I, I made choices that I, that thought, I thought were going to kill me. I took risks like, oh, I'm, I'm going to quit this job. Whatever happens, happens. And I'm still alive. I'm still alive, bro. People say you should have a safety net. I didn't have a, I didn't have a safety net. I just did it, and it all worked out for me to be still alive here, making this video. Because for sure, one thing I know is that in the end, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna regret the life I'm living today. But if I, if I didn't do what I did and I stayed in a corporate job, I didn't take no risk. I wouldn't be happy imagining myself and visualizing myself, visualizing myself in that place. I know I wouldn't have been happy. I know I've, I would have been thinking about me right now and the position I'm in right now and the things that I'm doing right now. If I, if I was still doing those things, I didn't want to do because my life will only matter to me in the end. So I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. I really want to thank you guys for watching my videos and I want to I want to go back to making my videos more like less serious, you know? I got carried away with one of my videos going viral and I started being in front of the computer presenting, making it so serious. Meanwhile, I'm I, I like that sometimes, but I genuinely like the freestyle of just connecting with you guys. I'm telling you, I prefer the the raw connection where I don't even do the thumbnail. I just I just post, you know. So ponder upon what I'm pondering upon right now. Is your life your life is gonna only matter to you in the end? So live it how you want to live it. Ask yourself: Are you living your life for somebody else right now? The expectations of other people. Or you have some dreams that you've seen that have sparked some ideas in your mind, like like YouTube or content creation or music or writing a book. It could be anything, but you know that that's you know that people make money from that too. People survive off that too. But you think you don't deserve it. You think it's saturated. You think it won't work for you. That's a lie. You never tried it. You never believed it. You never did it. Those people were just like you, like Kai Sinat. Kaisenat, Speed, Aiden Ross, they were just like you, thinking like it's not possible to make it. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. But look at them today. But they had to put in the work, which is why I'm not scared to put in the work anymore. I'm not scared to say it out loud that this is what I want. I want to be successful on YouTube. All right. Peace.